everybody, welcome back to M6 Trains. If you watched last video, you saw that I opened up a bunch of rolling stock pieces, and the, these two Atlas Bay Window Cabooses were some of them, and if you remember, I said I would take these out of the boxes and go through all the details and thoroughly review these, so that's what we're doing today. So let's unbox these cabooses and take a look and see what they're about. Alrighty, so we have the first caboose on the tracks here and this is the New York Central caboose. Now before I start reviewing this, I just wanted to note that these are from the Atlas Trainman line. And if you're not familiar, the Trainman is the kind of lower end, I guess if you want to call it that. Um, they're still O scale cars, but they're kind of on the more affordable side of the Atlas pieces of rolling stock because they can get pretty pricey. So it, just wanted to keep that in mind before we started this review. So anyway, taking a look at the side of the Bay Window Caboose, you can see the nice, crisp New York Central lo logo, um, as well as the yellow handrails. You can see the Road to Future written on it. And on the Bay Window, the top is painted white. Looking at the top, you can see the nice yellow painted handrails, and the top is nicely done. The walkway is see through, and there's a nice chimney stack on top. And the steps are not see through, they're just molded in. They are, they are treaded though, which is nice. Like I said, so keep in mind, this is not the top of the line, so the steps are not see-through on these. And then you can see some nice detailing. Here is the end of the caboose here. And the couplers do have the nice brake hoses, which is nice to see for kind of a more affordable model from Atlas. Um, there is the toolbox, or is that a generator? I can't tell. Um, here's the other side. Everything <clears throat> nice and legible. Here's the underside, which is very nicely detailed. There is a switch under here. It says on off. I'm assuming that's for the lights. And here's the other side. Now, since this is kind of like the more affordable side of Atlas, um, there are a few things that I was kind of expecting to see and was kind of disappointed. <clears throat> One, the first thing is I was kind of hoping that there would be some sort of red marker light on these cabooses. Now, I don't know. If the bay window cabooses even did come with rear marker lights, I'm sure they did, but th these do not have them. Like I said, it's probably just because it's the train man line of rolling stock. Not the biggest deal in the world, but I mean, you could get an MTH Premier caboose for around the same price, and they have the red uh, marker lights at the end. And then the other thing I was kind of disappointed about is on the trucks. They don't have the rotating bearing caps, which I love, and these don't have, but it is what it is. Still a very nice caboose. Nice detailing. I really like that New York Central Green. Really cool. Um, the one thing I did notice is the coupler kind of sticks up a little bit on this end. For some reason, but that's alright. We could put that toward the back. I don't know if that was damaged in shipping or what, but anyway, let's take a quick look at the Southern Caboose. Alrighty guys, I guess Atlas heard me complaining about the New York Central Caboose about not having rotating bearing cap because for some reason, um, this one does have them, which is awesome because like I said, it's one of my favorite features. Um, I, just, I just think they look really cool when they 
roll and they add extra they just add the extra cool factor to these cars more, more things to look at in motion um, so I'm really glad that this one has it kind of strange that the other one doesn't because it's the same exact caboose just different paint but I'm not complaining because like I said I love rotating bearing caps so anyway starting off with the southern now other than the bearing caps you can see the nice big crisp southern logo the nice information road name or road number uh, the bay window is painted in nice yellow you have some nice detailing here and some information which I think is legible yes legible I don't know if you guys can read that yeah I'm sure you guys can get your glasses on and read that um, here is the top like I said it's the same exact car from the New York Central, so the detail's the same, but it's kind of strange that this one does have the rotating bearing caps. Um, the walkways are still not see-through, but are treaded. Here's the the uh, coupler with the hose, and here's the end of the caboose. I do like the yellow trim on this, the chain, the brake wheel, grab irons, they're all painted yellow, which looked really cool. Um, everything just pops on this. I like the contrast of the yellow. Here's the other side. Like I said, I got this because I did see the Southern Bay Window Caboose at the North Carolina Transportation Museum. Um, it was painted different, a little bit brighter red, but I really do like the colors on this. It looks really cool. And like I said, that, that yellow contrast looks awesome. Um, so the only complaint I really have is that there's no red marker light, but I did get the rotating bearing caps on this one. So I am a happy camper because I can't even, that, that's my favorite feature. So kind of bizarre, like I said, that one got them and the other didn't, but oh well. But this is the Southern Bay Window Caboose. Looks great. Let's dim the lights and take a look at these cars lit up. Alrighty, so I dimmed the lights here, and by that I mean I closed the curtains in my room um, just to test the lights. And kind of interesting, as you can see, the New York Central caboose has more of an LED kind of bright white, or you know, that typical LED color. And the Southern here has more of that traditional, um, your incandescent kind of yellow bulb which I kind of like better but the New York Central is definitely brighter and like I said there is no um, red marker light at the end which is kind of disappointing but it is what it is this is the train man line like I said so but here are the cars lit, lit up they look cool I love that bay window it looks really cool um, Unfortunately, you can kind of see the electronics inside if you look really closely, but obviously nobody's going to be getting that up close to these cabooses when they run around. But anyway, super nice cabooses. They look great. I'm so happy the Southern has those rotating bearing caps. But these things look awesome. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this review. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these bay window cabooses. Overall, these are pretty nice cabooses. I'm so glad the Southern does feature those bearing caps, but I think I paid right around like 68 bucks for each of these, which is not bad. Like I said, I was kind of disappointed that there's no rear light on these, but hey, it's train man, man, so. But overall, nice cars from Atlas. I really like them. I just need some power for these suckers to be pulled behind. But hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Take care, guys. Have a good one.